Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lol Cow Live. We have a big show uh, this evening. Uh, we're going to get the cows on the line. Boogie2988 has serious, serious allegations against him. And uh, we're going to bring on the expert when it comes to... <laughs> we got the expert on the line. So uh, this should be interesting. Uh, Boogie's going to be there. And I told Wings of Redemption, if he doesn't show up tonight, he's getting Connored. So he better be here. All right. We're calling the boys now. Uh, unfortunately, they started adding later guests to the program. No, see, this is, I knew. Hang up, shoe nice. You're not on until later. I <laughs> You're you're coming on later with Blade. The fans want it. Shoe just just hit hang up. Shoe. Sorry, <laughs> starting off right. Oh <laughs> I'm coming off the worst show ever last week. Shoe, you're not gonna f this up. Hang up. What the? F <laughs> what? Nick, I swear to God. <laughs> Nice, man. Why is it doing that? Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick shoe. We'll bring him back later. Uh, and obviously, we need Booger here, right? Like, we're we're starting off the show uh, pretty strong here, people. Um, but we do need uh, we need the boogie. Let me pull this up and move all this stuff over. Bear with me while I get situated here, people. Okay. <laughs> Live on the show, we got Tommy, we got Wings, we're waiting on Boogie, and then of course we're going to get the expert to go over these Boogie allegations. Have you have you seen this, Tommy? What? Which one? The um, Yeah, yeah, the allegations? Yeah, sure. I, I think it's terrible he's cheating on his girlfriend. That's... Isn't that awful? It's... Look, he's a lucky guy to have that girl. Look, he's blowing it. Okay, well, we got squeaky chair, and where the f*** is Boogie? I'm... I don't have much of a voice tonight. <laughs> I'm also out for methazine. What the fuck? Boogie <laughs> just. Who was just talking? What was that? This fucking week. Weeks talk. Got laryngitis. <laughs> That's why I didn't show up last week. I, I yeah, want a voice. A, you're a trooper. <laughs> Somebody join the call. I'm sitting here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Sue Nice. You're not on until later. What the fuck? Hey, Boogie. <laughs> Shoe Nice. Here. Get the fuck out. Dude. Shoe Nice. You got to go. Shoe, you're not on uh, until later. Who added him to the group? God damn it. That was you not did. me. I just now got I in front it, of. But somebody told me yeah, to do it. I just now got in front of the computer. <laughs> Why are you cheating on your girlfriend? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Kick him from the group, please. You have to take him. Well, Jesus. you know, I, 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 I just read the, I just read the, the, the <sighs> paying for black feet. So big fan of black feet. Okay. Um. So Nick, are you here? Yes. Okay. So guys, we're we got to go over these uh, boogie allegations. This is. Yeah. This is insane, all right? This popped up on the LolCal Reddit. Uh, let me just read it to you. Uh, it says, my experience with Boogie2988. Hey, Reddit, I've been struggling uh, with something for a while now. Uh, I finally found the will to express it. It's about an experience I had with Steven, meaning Boogie, of course. For privacy reasons, I won't disclose my face or name, but I feel it's important to speak up, especially for Desi's sake, which is uh, Boogie's course, yeah. uh, child bride. Uh, I, came <laughs> I, I came across Boogie's uh, Discord <coughs> name uh, after a live show uh, accident by Keemstar. It was the real Boogie 2988. I understand sharing this could appear to be a breach of privacy, but I need to provide the background to show that I'm not lying. I sent him a friend request on Discord without thinking about it, 
To my disbelief, he added me back a few weeks later, and we began chatting. Our conversation lasted about a month, and for the most part, it was casual and enjoyable. However, towards the end, Stephen, a.k.a. Boogie, asked me for something that made me feel uncomfortable. When I said this made me feel uncomfortable, he quickly ended the call. Following that, he unfriended me on Discord, and we haven't spoke since. I want to be clear, <laughs> I have no hate for Boogie. I have lots of respect for his work. What work? He wanted to mow his lawn. And, <laughs> <laughs> and looked up to him prior, uh, but I couldn't shake off the feeling of guilt for keeping this secret, especially when it comes to Desi. Uh, and she has a right to know. I'm going yeah, to disclose this complete chat history for the record. I am an adult woman. Okay. So well, it's obviously, obviously I was very upset with her for not showing me her giant black feet. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not she's an now. adult. I was going to give her $9 to show me her giant black feet and she wouldn't do it. And I'm just, it's very heartbreaking to me. Sure, so let's to get, her. let's get into the logs because first of all, I understand that you're trying to be sarcastic. Like you're innocent and this is all fake and everything Obviously. buggy. I get it, but we have the top ape expert on the show. Nicholas Diorio. If you guys watch his YouTube channel, he covers nothing but all, all the time. Yeah. Yep. All right, so let's get into these DMs. It looks like on March 22nd of 2024, uh, this individual said, Hey, Buggy, I just want to let you know that I'm a huge fan of both you and the show. Keep shining. You respond by saying, Hey there, I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Are these real, real DMs? No, obviously not. No. You didn't tell a fan uh, that you uh, appreciate them and glad they're enjoying the show. I mean, that much could be real, but this didn't actually happen. But that that's the kind of thing I would say. But keep reading. You'll see uh, things that I would obviously uh, never say. Okay. Uh, the person says, I can't believe you actually replied. I honestly didn't expect it. And now I'm kind of freaking out. Boogie mm -hmm. responds, if anyone should be nervous, it's me. It's not every day that I get to talk to a pretty girl. At least I assume that's you in your profile picture. Now, did you now, say that? No, obviously not. I've been talking to pretty girls since 1995. I used to work in the porn industry. I'm pretty numb to attractive women at this point. You've seen the women that I've been out with. You know. You know. Go ahead, Wings. Oh, the, whole, the whole thing right here is I was... I met Boogie at the, um, at the fight. And there was like this press conference at the fight. Yep. And Boogie basically walked around with like a $100 bill in his hand and told every woman <laughs> in the room that she's the most beautiful woman he's ever seen in his life. He's right about it, except for the hundred dollar bill part. That ain't real. But yes, yes, that's but exactly, like yes. that's the only thing that's keeping me believing like all oh, this has some level of credence to it is because the guy who's creating you or recreating you is doing such a good job because you have zero real life game. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I would never in my life. This is the worst game you could have. Hey, if anyone should be nervous, it's me. That's no no woman has ever responded positively to that. Now, Nick, like, oh, I'm a small bean. You tried it before? No. I mean, Nick, probably as a teenager, is, uh, but not as an adult. Nick, can you guess who's talking, like, right before Boogie was speaking? Do you know who that is? What do you mean, Wings? Oh, that yeah. Okay, so you recognize this voice. <laughs> well, it seems like he lost it, but yeah, it's definitely Wings. It's got the yeah. Southern drawl. No, I don't think these messages are real because Boogie hasn't talked about killing himself once yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I, that is normally uh, how I trauma bond. I'm like, are you a suicidal? If so, we might kill each other or, uh, uh, together. But first, let me see your giant black feet. Boogie, our, our, what was it? we had two interactions, and our second one was, if I shoot this guy on my lawn, you have yeah. to avenge me by defending me on youtube yeah i was hoping you would man yeah <laughs> uh breaking we can talk we about a, we can talk about that a little bit later if you want but breaking way, we have a big dono uh 50 dollars. crazy how keem can make sock accounts for this forced drama thread but uh brother will still get it, uh an unbanning <laughs> i i definitely forced uh forced all this all right well let's continue with this what else is yeah. being said in here um uh uh, the person says, no, thank you. It's so nice of you to say, yes, it's me. It's a rather old picture. Uh, this is moving all the way up to April 4th. I love to see what you look like now. Uh, the woman says, Boogie, are you flirting with me? You respond, maybe. Me and you, no. Uh, uh, maybe 
Wait, 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 what the fuck? Maybe me and you know I've been having problems. It would be nice to have someone to talk to. Um, it goes on what to say problems. What I mean, uh, mental health problems, but like what problems was having them on four oh four that they would well, be for? Okay, country? well, Boogie, have you went yeah. to your DMs on Discord to see if you were talking to any fans? Are yeah, any I don't. Of, use, I don't use Discord, so that's easy. I don't yeah. use Discord. So you're saying that no matter what, none of this is real. Not even one of these images are, is real. No, I, I don't I ask Tommy. Tommy had to teach me to use Discord. I don't use Discord. I did have to teach you, but that doesn't mean you don't talk to anybody. Let's be no, honest. I don't. You Keem, have I you did. put on word to get this girl on the podcast yet? Have you like said if she wanted to come on and talk about it? Uh, no. Uh, I don't know how yeah, to reach. Yeah. Uh, I guess you can yeah, reach they use, people. They, they use uh, the, you mean like you use hard the press to find if this is a girl? Yeah, they use a um a sock puppet account, like a throwaway account or something, right? It's Eastern Dash Blackberry seventy seven, so this is just like a tra this is like beginning grade school troll up, you know. Yeah. But then even if you look at these comment sections, like number one, this is not how I talk to a woman. This is also not how I talk to anybody. Secondly, even when you look at the comment section, they're like, no, you can clearly see these images are doctored and stuff like that. But listen, get, keep going because this gets really good. I, I, I really this is hilarious. So keep going. Well, it, it gets to the point where you make a phone call with this individual, right? <laughs> Sure. Um, and, uh, after the phone call, uh, the person says, Hey, sorry, I was on my laptop. I'm free now though. Um, you respond by saying, Hey, I can't talk, but I, uh, but I can hear you, uh, because I'm not alone right now. How are you? Can you turn your camera on? You look very nice. Do you want to masturbate for me? Sure. Later is fine. I like your socks. I bet they're comfy. God, I bet your feet smell nice. <laughs> Can you take your socks off, beautiful? I would like to lick them. <laughs> Can you call oh. me worthless? W would you piss all over me? <laughs> and, th and this is supposed to be a black woman, right? There was something about that in here when I scanned it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His, I, I, I'm sure you already know, but I love black girls. I've never told anyone this, but back when I was single, I paid two black women to dominate me and have sex. The last thing I want in the world is to be dominated. Yeah, that's, that's the true. opposite of what I'm into. Um, and uh, your argument. Also, is the feet thing. Let me be honest. The feet thing does not make sense to me. What uh, any feet men that are out there? What do you do to the feet? Do you put them in you? Do you, do you suck on what do you do to the feet i don't understand why you're attracted to feet yeah that's gross uh, it doesn't yeah, make any sense to me but, but you know i once i your, once your saw arguments don't make sense your arguments so everything you, every, your, your entire argument i'm not saying this is true with you but your entire <laughs> argument is this isn't true because i would never do that there's no way to prove that one way or another yeah like that's what yeah, everybody well, I, mean, say. I guess I, I, would, I never talked to a good, good girl like that no i would never do that well prove you would never do that. you can't yeah. prove it now, i mean at the end of the day anybody could accuse me of anything and it's going to stick sure Right, so Fair enough, matter. but you sound yeah. like somebody who's guilty. Mm. Not, <laughs> what, how do you see this, Wings? Do you think he's innocent? Do you think he's guilty? I think I think he's innocent personally, because like mm -hmm. he's been under the fire so long. Get the like sling blade. <laughs> <laughs> you put gas in it. it. <laughs> I feel so bad. I told Wings if he doesn't show up, he's getting Connored. And like, he, like you're you're pretty sick, bud. You're pretty goddamn sick. I'm also high on promethazine and Dayquil, so like I'm I'm loopy. Hell so. yeah. 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 Great. Well, thank you for showing up. I will say, um, I have my person, and I don't really feel the need for anything else. Um, I don't think there'll ever be an opportunity that I'll ever seek another person. I certainly wouldn't want to hurt myself or Desi that way, like destroy what we have or uh, hurt her or anything like that. Uh, but beyond that, this is just not something I would seek out. I don't really enjoy online interactions. I like never watched Desi masturbate on camera. That's not, I clearly I've always been an in real life person. I paid for in real life interactions. I don't pay for online interactions. That well, doesn't you've make never sense. paid for porn in your life. I paid Come for, on. I mean, I paid for porn, 
but I haven't paid for like, oh, get on live camera and let me see your butthole. Like that, that does not appeal to me at all. Live shows, okay, well, you said you were in real life guys, so I was wondering, like, have you ever, I don't know, got a browser subscription or bought an OnlyFans thing or anything like that? No, it went, when I wanted to spend my money on women, <laughs> I would spend them on having interactions with women, going out with them, hanging out with women. I did the sugaring thing. No, the sugaring I swear thing to, was online no, no, for no, me. No, 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 hold on, never, hold on, hold on. I yeah. swear to God, when the whole internet was like super lefty and like pro sex worker you yeah. you were a subscriber to a bunch of girls only fans i swear that's a thing how do i how am i remembering this this is I think from something I, I so i think i checked out a few in 2020 just to see what like what people are doing on only fans and i had every intention of starting my own which i did i mean i have one go check it out it's all shirtless photos nothing worse than you see on my timeline anyway but um, I wanted to learn the ins and outs of OnlyFans, and I did check out the website and figure all that out. But I've always been pro sex work. My mom did sex work, right? I'm, I'm 110. <laughs> <percent. laughs> I've always been 110 percent pro sex work. Didn't she do? Didn't she do it <laughs> on you? Going against your mom. <laughs> <laughs> the only way this story gets better if Boogie is the yeah. out is the result of her sex yeah, work activities. Right. No, no, I'm not Charlie Kelly from Always Sunny. Uh, but, okay, uh, time out. We got two announcements. One, we have a poll going yeah. on. Is Boogie guilty? Currently, 60 percent of the audience thinks that Boogie is in fact guilty. Plus, wow, we have crazy. a 50 dollar dono saying Boogie talked to me like this in DMs. I have a lot of empathy for poor <laughs> victims that had to deal with this madman <laughs> oh god because i was not I there too uh uh i'm not black and he didn't ask for a fee uh one for me one for the hooker i was the hooker what was the hooker yeah um yeah i just did it you just hear your argument i wouldn't like i wouldn't do that it's not an argument it's not even a defense yeah. well and how okay defense, give me I do give that. me a defense how do i prove how, what is, what would be that? You probably have to take a screenshot of your, uh, and it wouldn't be so it'd be circumstantial. Well, can't yeah, you, all, all can't, yeah, can't you delete your discords and stuff? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and but, like that would be and, and, wait. Yeah, okay, so wait, so buggy, but it would, be, it would be better than what you're doing. You sound I guilty. can I can screen share if you want to see my screen. Though. Uh, yeah, do that. And while you're doing that, uh, let's talk about this for a second. So your mom's a whore, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Is she, your mom still alive? No, my mom died in 2009. Yeah. But my mom, she, she, uh, she traded pain medications for sexual favors mm. um, <laughs> because she was a junkie. And uh, I found out later, you know, my, my girlfriend's uncle, uh, the, one of the ways they, they interacted was like he, she would give him pain pills and he would give her. Why would you tell anyone? Talk. Why would you tell anyone? I would never, I would, years, I would, I would never tell the internet that my mother sucked <laughs> for a Laura Tab. She would pay for sex with the Laura Tabs. She had access to pain meds. She would give them away in exchange <laughs> for big, long black. And I don't like my mother. Remember, this woman abused me. So I'm here to throw her under the bus all the time because the woman abused me. She's I dead. Don't really feel the need to her. Well, yeah, she's been mean. dead for 15 years. Who are we protecting at this point? Who cares? Once you die of AIDS. <laughs> I was say, my grandmother did it uh, way better. Like my grandmother <laughs> yours too? And, yeah. Oh, no. She never traded for sex. But like, my grandmother was a pimp. She would go around and she would buy up everybody else's pain medication and hoard it to the end of the month and then jack the price up when everybody Ooh, else was out. That's smart. Gangster. How do you sh oh, hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to change, share my full screen. No, hold on. Let me figure out how to change, share my screen. You got to be fucking kidding me. Your mother would buy dick with Laura tabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how she, most of her interactions with Johnny and also. Oh God! I hope he's not still. Alive. I probably shouldn't mention that. But there was another male figure in my life that uh, would routinely have sex with her in exchange for. But he might still be alive, so I don't want to say his name. How did you know? So, so when they you, were having sex, she tell you that? My mother had nothing for the headboard hitting the wall in that yeah. trailer in West Virginia. Tommy, I, you remember? I, for the last two years, I lived at home with my mother. I didn't have a room. I kept my under a couch, and I slept on a couch. Right, so there was no privacy. In in this tiny little hole we lived in, yeah. But on top of that, I mean, was, she didn't so really feel the need to hide anything she did or said. You know? So wait, your your father wasn't in the picture, right? Well, he had had a stroke um, about eight years prior to all of this. So he wasn't. Well, I mean, like, 
You were you raised by your mother or raised by your father? I was raised by my mother. I took care of my father. Okay. Starting the age of 12, so, I took care of my So mother. you were raised by your mother, so you learned everything from your mother. Your mother yes. bought hookers, and you bought hookers. Yes. Who knew? Mm. Who knew? Who knew? Was your mother also fat? Yes. No, she was beautiful and skinny. <laughs> <laughs> she was apparently beautiful in her early 20s. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm a bad judge of it. I have in the, uh, I have a portrait of her in her twenties that she left me in her will that I just put in the attic 10 years ago. And it's just been, or since 2015, it's just been sitting there ever since I might bring it down and show it one day, but I think she was attractive when she was like 20. My dad must've seen something in her, but how do you f***ing share your screen? Normally it's really easy, but now I don't see it. Yeah, I, I need to know how to do it. that. I need to know how to do that for our next story for sure. Share your screen. So I guess we're just coming to the conclusion that Boogie's innocent. Yeah, I mean we would have to because I am. But the chat but, the chat's saying sixty two percent guilty. I mean, these are the same people who think I fake my cancer. These are the same people that think I fake my uh, parental abuse stories. These, you know, I mean, you fake the swatting. It's not really out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> I did not fake the swatting, Nick, but I did you change You just gave the all date. the wrong details. About I changed the, the date. I changed the dates. That I know, is true. but I can't think. Dude, that, that thing bothers me the most because I can't think of anything more stupid, right? You're, yeah. there, there's these people that are watching your every movement, right? And you just lie about this police contact that never took yeah. place. I, no, it did so... take place. It took place that summer. I said it took place in December, but it took place that summer. It, it, was, it was also like a wellness check, not a swatting, right? Yeah, it was a weaponized. <laughs> well, it was a weaponized wellness check, as, which is the same thing, you know. Because in this in Northwest Arkansas, when you do a it's wellness not the same check, thing. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me let me speak. Worse. Let me speak. Every time they send a do a wellness check in Northwest Arkansas. They send the fire department. They send a, fi a full fire truck. They send an ambulance and they send a police unit. So the entire neighborhood knows what's happening. And they sent either two or three in that year, which the year I think was 2018 to 2019, even before I was talking about being suicidal, even privately to people, right? Um, and that's why I've always considered them to be weaponized welfare checks. Because it was a form of harassment. It wasn't because I was suicidal or I was talking about being suicidal. I, I agree way that they to interact it, negatively with me. But like a, a swatting and a welfare check is completely different. The police come with different attitudes. Oh, they still One can't make your hand on think you're actively like shooting that. people. The other expect to find a dead body. Yeah. Oh, I will tell you that they still came with their hands on their weapons. I can promise you that. Real, real that quick, we got another fifty dollar donation. Uh, we're we're not gonna take your word for it when you've lied so much referring to Boogie. Yeah, exactly. Remember when you lied about getting doxxed uh, and then saying it was weaponized well checks? Like, so even the chat's picking up on this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I said, I'm at a point where you can accuse me of anything and it's always going to stick, and there's nothing I can really do. But about how do you weaponize wellness checks on someone who's so often suicidal? Well, I wasn't. <laughs> right? Like these thing. started when I wasn't. I got hit with a weaponized well, well wellness check, and it like the fire department's actually kind of hostile, especially yeah. when they think you're wasting their time because yep. like they're they're not really to deal with the public. Uh, yep, Boogie, if you can't right click on your picture right now and hit share screen, oh, is that all it takes? Okay. I think so. I it's something find like that. Button. Profile mute deafen focus show this camera. person apps change video background show my camera show non video participants hold on uh, i'll just google it by the way um there's going to be some downtime because after boogie figures it figures this out i have to figure it out uh because i i've never known how to do it that's part of the reason why you know i i've reacted to you know different pieces of content without you guys i don't know how to do the share screen thing to make tap everybody share. okay hold on let me walk you through it launch the discord app start a voice call or video call tap share screen and if you don't see this menu swipe up for more options what does that mean swipe up how the f you swipe up uh, what are you doing on a phone you hit share screen. tommy you know how to do this right yeah yeah where click, is it on this giant click, click, low lower left hand corner Click well, on how do you guys run this show? I, I don't know. I don't. I, 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 I don't. How many retards does it take to hit the share screen button on Discord? Yeah, yeah, the 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 man is out of his Nick, Nick, Nick. We get over here. 
but we don't sit on Discord all damn day. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, so it's under your camera. It's under your camera. Talk to him. No, wait, it's not. I think he's saying. I want you. Let me take a screen. I see it. I see it now. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to dox a load of people and their tags. I see it. I know how to do it now. Yeah, I see it now too. I see it. I don't know. Like, if you, if you go to share you know, screen, all right, all right. you also have to check share system audio if you do it by screen. If you do it by application, you don't have to do that. But if you do it by screen, that needs to be checked. Okay, so, so here's, we're going to Here's my chat. Here's everybody I've talked to. And it's all just people related to the show, other than like people randomly sending me messages. And as you can see, just like any other wait, message. Who's have, Derek? Who's wait, 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 wait. Who, wait, wait, who, who, who's, who's Derek? Who's Derek? Derek? I don't know. We're He's getting, awesome. we're getting double dub. Who said? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. We're getting double we're getting audio. Double audio. Yeah, you got to uncheck, uncheck it for that. that. You can you mute can his window. window. How do I do that? How do I do that? You see, you the, see the little volume button oh, yeah, yeah. on the right side? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Double up. Okay. So, who's Derek? Is that the DSP fanboy? I don't know. Let's see. This is a message from 2020. Hi, Boogie. I've been following you for a while on socials, and always have been too nervous to reach out publicly. Uh, wow. And then I added him 3.5 years later when I was trying to reduce my friends request list to be able to add people for the show. So, yeah, mm. that's, that's whoever hey, hey, look how far, how far down is that from the top? Oh, God. Oh, I totally believe. Oh, no, go all the way up. Eh, yeah. Been. Yeah. Well, yeah. I do. I, I want to say this. We just got a two hundred and twenty two dollar and twenty two cent donation saying hire more. We Todd's we, we're on it. <laughs> we, we are on it. Uh, I was awesome. Speaking about hiring we Todd's, I seen I got thrown under the bus for a bad file, which my file wasn't bad. No. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll get into that. Uh, <laughs> how do I f***ing remove uh, Boogie's f***ing sh now? I'll stop, here, I'll stop sharing it. Yeah, I'll stop sharing it. He's got to stop sharing. It, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can talk about it. You want to talk about it now? We want to get it out of the way because we got some big. We got other stuff to get to. I'll get it out of the uh, way. I, 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 I'm pretty much done with it. it, it like it's like I got thrown under the bus for having bad audio and i'm like no I, my file was clean all the way through all right uh okay nick uh we might have you on later thank you yeah hey, thanks for coming go, on nick. can i yeah, ask yeah. one question yeah what's yeah. the deal with this i because I, I feel like this is a, a a public concern that i was wondering about so boogie made a weird vague tweet i don't know if it's been deleted about Frank Castle apparently doing something horrible, but like for the good of the internet, we'll never know what it was. What yeah, I don't. I, I deleted. About? I deleted that for a reason. It's not something I'll talk about publicly ever. Yeah. But wait. Gonna, what? You and I can have a. You and I can have a. You and I can have a private conversation Who's about that. Who's got a screenshot? Who's got a screenshot of this? Who's got a screenshot of this tweet? I put it in the chat. Yeah. I said uh, now that I'm no longer on probation, I can speak freely. I'm aware of some of the things that Frank has done. Uh, that the internet, for good reason, will never know about. I can't speak of them publicly, mm -hmm. and neither will the other people involved. But the world, or at least a few other people, would have been better off if I had buried his ass that day. And I do genuinely believe that, but I immediately realized the people who have confided in me would not want me saying even that, and uh, I'm going to stay quiet after that. We're gonna but what, what lands in that perfect realm of, like, did something demonstrably bad, but... I will tell you privately. I will tell, I will tell you it. privately. I will tell you probably because the person that's involved would be further hurt by me discussing this publicly. Right, but you but see, I'll be glad to tell you. You that. understand, like this Wait. sounds like you're accusing him of like a crime. Two like, se two, uh, two yeah, seconds. Yeah. Let me just read this, okay, slowly, because he went through it fast. Uh, now that I am no longer on probation, I can speak freely. I am aware of something Frank has done that the internet, for good reason, will never know about. I can't speak of them publicly, and neither will the other people involved, but the world, or at least a few people, would be better off if I buried it or buried his ass that day. Yes. So, I'll be glad to tell any of you I'll, I'll tell any of you guys privately. But the third parties involved would not want me to speak publicly about it. It was a I bet stupid they wouldn't want to do what you did either. Exactly. It was a stupid <laughs> it was a stupid lapse of judgment. So very there is an allegation against Frank Castle that Boogie knows about. Yes. And what? now it seems like you're kind of sweeping up. Yeah. Yes. 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 I'm going to yes, I am. yes, I'm going to sweep it up. I'm going to absolutely bury it because I do not want the third parties to be harassed any further. It will be interesting how Frank handles it. Oh, he'll just Boogie's lying, he's piece of Fucking liar! He's just trying to stir 
Remember to show up at his house and call him the N-word a bunch more times. Yeah, but Bo Boogie, Frank think about it this way. Maybe you'll get lucky and Frank Hassel will show up at your house at the same time. <laughs> at the same Flame time. Star and they'll kill each other. It's the same time Flaming Star is there and they'll get into an epic battle. Oh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I still, now that I can talk freely about the Frank Hassel thing, though, um, I will say some things about that day. I, what I always thought was so interesting is he showed up at the time that this air conditioner guy was here and i just want to give a huge shout out to air conditioner repair guy because frank is in the yard doing his like beta male sh oh, look at me i'm a boogie shard i'm a big boy i'm a big boy i'm a big daddy's big boy you know and um and like preparing to call me the n-word a bunch of times and stuff and like trying to work up the the balls to say i'm gonna call that boy the n-word ah, you know and this air conditioner repair guy doesn't know what he's involved in he's just like fixing my and uh, so Frank's at the front door, and I figured out pretty quickly what's going on. So the air conditioner repair guy, he, me, him, and I had chatted about our dogs. He was playing with my dogs, talking to my dogs. And I'm like, you're a dog guy, right? Will you hold my dog while I deal with this? He's like, sure. So when you look at the photo, that classic photo that got mean to death, a lot of people think that's my roommate holding Sammy. That is not. That is random air conditioner repair guy holding my dog. And it's so funny, I'm as happy as I am that that guy helped out that day, he fucked the pooch as well, because what? he, obviously, we called the cops, and as I was, like, talking to Frank, my roommate was calling the cops, right? Air conditioner repair guy said, hey, man, the cops are on their way. If he had not said that, Frank might have been there long enough for the cops to have at least talked to him, possibly arrested him, before he fled the state. Um, so I, I'm so grateful for air conditioner repair guy. Like, thank you for putting up with it. If you ever see this, shit, I've always wanted to give you a bigger public shout out. I'm glad I can do it here on this platform. It's so cool that you were that cool about it that day. So cool that you wrangled my dog. I just really wish you hadn't mentioned that the cops are coming, man. Because <laughs> it could have played out completely fucking different. Was it the objective just to get that? the danger off of your property? No. As the quickly point, as possible. The point was to get this guy justice for the he was doing wait oh, that's wait, wait, wait. so wait. let me get this straight her in front of your house <clears throat> instead of just like i, I you this told is... me and i went back there were blanks you were never going to kill that guy they were well, blanks. that's the other thing that we can talk about wait Okay, this is this is wait before we get into that. This is driving me nuts. All right. Yeah. First of all, the air conditioning guy is holding your dog, and he's saying the cops are coming to eliminate the fucking threat, and you have the nerve to complain. Why even bring yes, it up? Like, Why even bring it up? Because two fucking minutes later, the cops by the by the time Frank and his accomplice were in the fucking car, because that man, by the way, cannot drive a car. At least he couldn't back in 2020. By the way, um, this man who is too afraid to drive a vehicle back in 2020 needed an accomplice to drive him here um and him and his accomplice drove away um and, it, and the cops showed up two or three minutes later and so if I, i'm saying i think it would have come out completely different some justice could have been served had the cops had the opportunity to speak with him and i just think it sucks that that's not how it played out. Fifty dollar dono boogie. You've said that you've had a plan to off yourself for at least a decade now, and you honestly thought people were going to be worried about you. Uh, you've been saying uh, this your entire YouTube career. I've been telling you since 2020. I'm no longer suicidal. Nobody gives a shit, right. Mm. Uh, you, you guys are like, oh, you're still suicidal. No, I'm not. And then. And and then Ken says, why would you even bring up something you can't talk about? Like, I know a secret, like, but I can't talk about it. About it. No longer on no, permission. I'm sorry, they send $50, so stop interrupting them. Uh, right. No reason to, <laughs> to ever say anything <laughs> um, to just put it out there unless you wanted attention from it. So, yeah, you, no, did, just, you did want I mean, attention from it. I immediately deleted it. I, I, I had hoped nobody saw it. I immediately deleted it. It's just a stupid lapse of judgment. I, I was thinking about myself, and I was thinking about my beef with Frank, and I wasn't thinking about the third parties involved. I, I haven't heard from Wings. Wings, what do you think about this? I think mm -hmm. it's about the stupid. I think that air conditioner story was the most boring shit in the planet. Yeah, all right. That's fair. So what's the deal with the blanks? You had blanks in the gun? Why would I have access to bullets? Okay, so why did you get arrested? Why did you get arrested? It wasn't the whole point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop talking over me. The whole point of you getting 
arrested is because you shot a gun, you shot a bullet that could have potentially landed on a school. The entire internet said this, and yeah, not once right? have you said, hey guys, I was actually shooting blanks. Why? Because talking about it during the case was going to make it worse. I offered to show them that gun that day. They refused to look at it. After the matter if you blanks or not. Honestly. Look, you right. were live texting me during the situation. You never once mentioned blanks. Because if it gets out, it's going to make the situation worse. <laughs> yeah, I don't make it worse. You're telling me that you're going to kill him on because your own. Because the entire reason this prosecutor went after me, number one, it doesn't matter whether they're blanks or not. It's still dangerous. It how does it right? make the situation? Matter. Wait, how, how does, does it make talking about yeah. pulling the gun on yourself? Are you going to shoot yourself with a blank? How does it yeah. make this uh, the good point, Nick? How does it make the situation worse, right? When you're saying, "Look, a because bullet." The entire bullet, reason the DA. Wait, oh my god, I can't reason. fucking finish what I'm saying. Right, the the whole when you shoot a bullet in the air, it can land on someone, right? It can hit someone, right? That's the whole reason why you got in trouble. That's why everyone oh, the whole was mad reason at you. I got in trouble is because the gun is real, and because even firing a blank is dangerous. And the DA saw the opportunity. And I told you this a hundred times. The DA told my lawyer he saw an opportunity to make a name for himself and look tough on gun crime. It doesn't matter. The DA is not your friend. They're your enemy. The exactly. DA is the one pressing exactly. the charge. So why didn't you go out and do multiple interviews and say, hey, look, this was a blank. I shot a blank. You should have done have multiple. Made, it wouldn't have helped. It would have made things it worse. It made a difference. You, right. The entire Shit. reason the DA was mad is because he me, thought this was a YouTube stunt gone wrong. He told me, the entire reason told the DA that, was mad. When he told me he shot the blanks, I went back and looked at the video, and you can clearly, because it's not loud enough. I don't clearly, know why I didn't clearly. I didn't want, I didn't want to, I, 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 I'm surprised I didn't, I mean, I was in the army, I was around a bunch of guns. I don't know why I didn't pick up on it earlier. Blank, um, bullets crack. Um, blanks just pop and they a big puff of smoke and there's a lot of smoke after he fires. Those are blanks. You should have. If you go back and look at it, you said can that. Hear the sound. You should have said that. Made. The DA wasn't going to come back. It's just going to piss him off more. The entire reason this DA went after me is because he thought it was a YouTube stunt gone wrong. Okay, okay, hold you on. You want to make an example oh, of me. Hold, hold on, Boogie. Don't interrupt. All right, I want to know Nick's opinion. Nick is an optic guy, right? Should Boogie have came out and said, hey, it was a blank or just it stayed silent? Would, Tommy's probably right. It wouldn't have helped him with the court. Not legally. And honestly, yeah. it probably would have made him look worse because he didn't even look like he was going to defend himself. He just brought a gun out to scare Frank. I think the optics, he would have looked like more of a pussy. <laughs> there was not a single person that told me I should come forward without that. Not a single person. Yeah, I didn't either. You're probably right. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm yeah, you're talking about it. like, I, I might pull the gun on myself, Nick. You have to tell my story. Can I ask a question? Like, what? I was under the impression you borrowed that gun. Why do you have blanks for a gun that you borrowed? Like, it seems premeditated. <laughs> Because I'm a YouTuber, you know. Have you not seen the videos I did with McJuggernuggets where I shot a blank at him? Blanks are fun. Guns are fun. It's fun to put that in YouTube. You could kill people with blanks, though, Boogie. Like I, 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 I said the exact same thing to Jesse on the day I fired one at his dad, right? But I, again, I it seems like an interesting thing. It seems like it would be a fun thing to do. It seems like it would be a fun bit. So I got blanks in the hopes that one day I would use them. But we're not walking around here with loaded guns. I don't like guns. Go back and look at how many times I've told you guys, I don't like guns. I don't want to own a gun. I would rather put a bullet in my head than somebody else. That's a t t tweet that people threw at me over and over and over again since the Frank Castle thing. Over and over and over again. I've said it. I'll say it again. I don't like guns. When they took my guns away from it, it didn't matter because I don't like the things i don't want them i don't like being near them they make me extremely uncomfortable 50 dollar donation a blank can kill someone if you put the gun exactly. directly to the head uh and if you were 10 feet away um so you're lying uh it would have made your case so much better to be honest uh but you can't you're a pathological liar well, who doesn't well, know lawyer, fact from <laughs> fiction <laughs> well my lawyer discussed the blanks with the da the DA said that if we would like, that could be our defense in court, but it didn't matter, and we pled out anyway. Yeah, you, fired in the school, you fired a dangerous weapon in school. There's nothing to do with her. I'm not in not. school zone. I hate that. Why uh, are you dumb? Look at a goddamn map, you 
fucking retard. Wait, wait, wait. What, wait, you wait. For? what was your wait, charge Nick, for? Wait, Nick. Nick, do you have any uh, anything else before we let you go? I, I we have no, a whole. No, no, I'm, okay. I'm good. Thank you for having me. All right, guys. The address go is two three nine six North Berkeley Drive. Look it up right now. Tell me that I'm in a. School all right, zone. all right. So you are. So all right. Then I, I'll, I'll, I'll concede if I was wrong. But so what were you brought in for? Uh, uh, aggravated assault against my neighbors. Aggravated assault. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you're uh, interested in rape, so didn't matter go check out Nicholas Diorio. His channel's uh, aggravated on YouTube. assault. Get your name. So that hold up. You could have beat that case, Boogie. Aggravated yes, assault. And, neighbors. and here's and here's how I decided to plead out. Right. You my plead out of that. You know, Hold on, hold on. Let me, no, let me, let me tell you. Can tell me let me what finish my thought, Boogie. Time. I don't have Go much ahead. voice. Go ahead. Cops are not allowed to basically coerce a crime out of people. So mm -hmm. cops would have to go door to door asking neighbors, did they feel like they were assaulted to get that crime? He basically pencil whipped that crime on top of you without a victim. You would have easily beat that in court with even a basic lawyer. So here's what here's where my lawyer set me down. And I'll tell you, we, yes, I think if we went to court, we would have beat it. But number one, it was going to cost more money, which I was running out of, and which I did, right? Spent $27,000 to get that far, and I didn't have more to spend. And I knew right. better than asking. Totally I just think it's so crazy that, Boogie, you are the biggest pussy I know, but, <laughs> but you're also like a felon for shooting guns, buying hookers, Pimping sure. out your girlfriend, you you got all this like hey, gangster stuff. Out my girlfriend, what the fuck? You you I'm got all this that. gangster stuff about you, but you're like literally yeah. like the biggest herb ever. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that in years. <laughs> it's so funny. But again, but again, my lawyer set me down and he's like, "Look, you have a sweetheart deal here. You're going to get two years, um, of non, uh, supervised probation." You'll never have to go into You're pissing right it up. It. You're never going to have to do anything. You should take this rather than spend the money. Okay, said, boogie, boogie. I like going to court. I would let me finish your change. I like going to court. I would like to represent in court. It could be fun, but it could also turn out poorly for you. They're going to subpoena Frank. They're going to subpoena Keemstar. This is going to be a tremendous fucking circus, and you're probably not going to benefit from it. So do you want to sit there and watch Frank tank the stand? You had a you horrible lawyer. Like, you had a horrible lawyer. You had the worst lawyer ever. But listen, there's only one person on this panel that has passed the bar exam. Um, the qualifications in South Carolina are pretty light. But go ahead, Wings. What's your legal opinion here? My legal opinion is Boogie's lawyer wanted to get wanted to just throw, swipe the under the rug, and he didn't actually want to go through it because you would have won that case. 99 out of 100 times. Yeah, would you put your ass in the line like that? Do some hard time or just walk out of it? You guys are all, you talk tough and said if you got to do the time, it's a whole different thing. What time is there? Like, there's no what time, time there. Are you time looking is at? in the aggravated assault. You get 10 years for that, wings. Yeah, that's if you're that, that, going that's if to you're jail for fucking Yeah, that's drowned. also, he's like, a, he's like a celebrity and they're trying get, to make an you example get of him. Time spent. Yeah, nah, don't listen to these guys, but. I got Look, two years out. unsupervised permission. I've never pissed in a cup. They've never come to my home. Right. I've never had to talk to a fuck. I've never had to do anything. It literally was like nothing. And with the first defender rules in the in, in the country, if I get my money back up to a comfortable place, I can easily get this expunged. Look, look at it this, this way. Is my first and only look at it this way. I don't plan to do another one. How would the DA prove that you violently assaulted your neighbors? He didn't have to. Under the state uh, uh, aggravated assault in Arkansas. Hold on, let me look it up. There ain't a fucking jury of your peers that would have put you away for 10 years. There is not in no the fucking fuck South. Not in the not fucking South. I'm trying to say somebody they're comes they're to my they're door. What if there was a bunch of media going into that and, um, and there's uh, going to be the jury saying, right. this guy, this guy's pulling a YouTube then you have your lawyer put everybody's a, put a sick of those tournament. YouTube pranks, dude. Everybody, everybody, because Tommy, Tommy, if that was the case, everybody would be forced to defend Boogie, and then you'd have other media that comes out exposing <laughs> the other media for being wrong. It would have been a whole thing. Would've. Not the he normies. The normies. Yes, the ones yes, they would with. have. Here's Yes, they would have. What Boogie Listen, should shut up, shut up. Video. What Boogie okay. should have done is Boogie should have campaigned. He should have campaigned for his innocence. It was a blank. I was being harassed. He was a true victim in that scenario. He should have went on every podcast, every interview. He should have fought the law, and he would have won. That's what you should have done. We would have got caught lying in the process yeah. on something. Yeah. You did the right thing, Boogie. Crazy. Yeah, people, look, yeah, we all know I had a lot Crazy. of public support back then, and especially now, right? I should absolutely... Uh <laughs>
throw this onto the court of public opinion. That will work out well for me. Uh, uh, listen, here's the, here's what they charge me. This is what I pled guilty to. Aggravated assault. A person commits aggravated assault in the state of Arkansas if they display a firearm in such a manner that creates a substantial danger of death or serious physical yeah, you injury did just to that. another person. And yeah, I did, did exactly that. that. <laughs> and there was video evidence of me doing it, and there was a confession of me doing it. It didn't matter if there was bullets or blanks or the gun. Displays a firearm in such a manner that creates a substantial danger of death or serious physical injury to another person. So the whole court that. case would he have been this. That. Whether Here's the thing. Look, you could it's, it'd be... To get killed by a blank at that distance is is very slim, but it's not impossible. So the so the uh, the prosecutors been arguing you could have killed somebody, therefore you're in violation of law. And your defense attorney said, well, they, they were never in danger, and that means you're thrown into a jury who could have been sullied by the media and just wanted to throw a YouTuber in jail to teach him a lesson. You did that's the right exactly, thing, by the way. And that's exactly. And, and so again, he's talked to Pine, my lawyer. But here's what my lawyer said. He goes, Boogie, I will tell you every time I've ever seen. A, uh, a jury trial, it's a popularity con contest. So you, I have to ask you the question. Exactly Do you think is. you convince 11 people to like you? And I'm like, <laughs> you, you, you I don't think I can this one fucker to like me. I just 11 <laughs> strangers. <laughs> At the same time, you're not getting the sweetheart deal. You're not you're not getting the maximum sentence. I know, but every it, every you're gonna prison for a year. Every bit of the get a year. Every bit of the that you went through through this process was all worth it for that one in line that one in line can you convince <laughs> 11 people to like you <laughs> that's funny. you're that's absolutely like, correct it's like, like your lawyers not. your lawyers throwing out castle doctrine your lawyers there was out, no like castle doctrine there was, at the time there was no castle it doctrine it was done because he left the fucking castle no, 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 yeah. no. He, I seen where I seen the video. He was still standing in the easement. No, of the his law home. doesn't uh, did not exist in the state of Arkansas at the time. There was no castle doctrine in this state, and not in that way. Anyway. I had a duty to retreat in the state of Arkansas. Okay, did it broke I, I had glass. to wait if you tried to climb in your in house. It would have been a different story. Ch but you went out to meet him. Chad, Chad, South Carolina is different. I can go all the way out to the road in South Carolina, and you, you're well, he ain't in South Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, chat, chat. Do you want to stay on this or do you want to move on to something else? I got another we... point. I got another point. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Twenty-one foot rule is also goes into effect as well with self defense. Like if somebody's within twenty-one feet of you, you have you and you construe them as a threat. You're allowed to use up to lethal force against them. This is how cops shoot people. Well, I don't know about the state of Arkansas, but mm -hmm. that's universal. Yeah, it's universal. Not New Jersey. Jesus. Yeah, you want to work in New Jersey, New York, any blue state, yeah, California. Know, fucking... Every cop, every cop that, go, that tries to get away with murder goes with the twenty-one foot rule. Yeah, but they're cops, and boogies boogie. <sighs> yeah, if it's good for them, it's good for us. No, it isn't. Now, what are you gonna do when you're going to jail and getting butt? You're gonna say that's no. You're not gonna get butt in jail, you're Tommy. Cool, get this but, you get butt in jail hard. Oh, you, yeah, yes, have you, you would. experienced this, Tommy? Yes, you would. No, I know people. I experienced pussies before, and they get butt. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I I spent about five hours in jail, and uh, I was not going to make it there. I'm you weren't in prison either. I'm that's nothing. Pretty. By the yeah, way, I was, that's I was nothing. In a detention center with nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm too pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boogie, yeah. Boogie, was gonna a make it in peanut butter sandwich and Boogie, cold. Boogie was going to make it in jail because they only fed him three times a day. That was <laughs> enough. <laughs> no, no actually, actually, so I did a lot of research because I thought I was going to jail and I became obsessive about it. So I was watching a lot of videos. Most prisoners eat exclusively from commissary and you can get a lot of commissary in fact some people get fat in jail that were skinny on the outside because they can't move around and the diet is truly awful they're eating onions and skittles to survive yeah cool yeah all right the army so uh moving on let's talk about wings's audio let's get this section done and over with and then there's like this viral clip that we got to show you this is fucking I mean, there's insane. not really nothing to talk about what and, you got and then we have yeah. uh we have blade coming on the show later with shoe nice something that the fans have been bagging for we made it happen it's happening later in the stream okay your audio being up on the stream look i'm telling you right now 
you you when you sent the audio over it worked perfectly fine right you could oh. play it perfectly fine but something is wrong with the file when you edit that file it gets corrupted and the editor kept trying over and over again and it got corrupted every time i, I can tell you for a fact <laughs> that connor used it and it didn't get corrupted it even showed me i'm just telling you there's something wrong with the thing it could be something wrong with his software came and just it's, it's not it's not clicking with uh it's not clicking with um there's a software issue It'll probably happen again next week too what do you well we'll we'll, we'll test that right away but wings uh do, is your file the same as wings and uh or excuse me is the same as tommy and buggy my, my file is set up by tommy so it should well, be exactly mp4 the same or do you have mp4 or mov no i just told you i said i didn't know what, what, what uh, you're using you. mp4 it, or mov it might be that like whatever it's i, I forget what was that shit even called well, what does the editor want? Does he want MOV? Does he want MP4? Oh, that shit's up. <laughs> I, I, I sound know. like her, but my, my yeah. was MOV. MOV? I mean, I at the end of the day, I, the, the new editor made some mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we, we gave him editor notes while we were recording. They missed the editor notes. We're like, show this meal. They didn't yeah. do that. You yeah, know, well, he even goes, like, those look great chicken tenders. And I'm like, I didn't show this, show you the. Chicken yeah, and then, no, if you look at the group chat, I'm pretty sure I said, well, those are meant, he posted that not to show you the chicken, but to, for the show. I also said that on the live stream when we brought it up. Uh, in, right? fairness, in fairness to him, he did get a lot in a short period. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to, we're, we're going to, Connor would have got it right. <laughs> we're, okay, we're going to meet him. We're going to meet him. Well, I would like that. That'd be fun, actually. We're, we're going to meet the editor. I'm not going to dump on the editor. He's in no, a, yeah, a bad yeah. spot, man. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Tuba, you there? Yo, I'm here. I'm here. What's up, you, Tuba? You don't have a what camera? Up, guys? I do. I'm trying to get it on Discord real quick. Hold up. Okay. Um, so there's there's uh basically some concerns about the editing. Oh well, my camera's off. I have a guy concerns. He's only really done two episodes, so like <laughs> yo, I hear you. I hear you guys fully, right? Uh, and it is. I got there were some of the files were MP4, some were MOV. Uh, also the frame rate. So some of them were filmed in 60 frames. Some of them were filmed in what looked like 30 frames. So all I did was I set I set the parameters of the of the the sequence or the program or the yeah the the file itself. I sent the parameters wrong. I didn't account for that. So now it it was trying to hard dry or hard like wire or force the frame rates to be the same. And because of that, every once in a while, it I would might have been a RAM issue. There you go. You know. I so, tell you what. Why don't you tell us what kind of frame rate? Why don't you set the parameters for us, which we want? Then we'll all be the same thing. Yeah, I think so we'll make uh, it easier for you. Thirty, I think, is 30. great. 50, I mean, yeah, thirty is great. Thirty. 30, Thirty frames a second. Uh, so we'll we'll change that. And then also, Wings is like so obsessed with showing the audience his chicken fingers that were made by his wife, uh, and and that didn't uh, get those were, those were not made by my wife. We were making a point that I went and got chicken fingers from uh, Dairy Queen that was like twelve ninety nine, and they were these little dinky fuckers. And it's it was by no means a a, a cost thing because I got eleven ninety nine chicken tenders from like a local restaurant that were twice the size and you know with french fries and a drink i love that part of the conversation that's my yeah thought. yeah you know what i mean the problem is i'm also hearing the word connor and sometimes i thought it was just a reference to, to someone i didn't i keep forgetting <laughs> that was the old editor's name look, look, and it was a note to me you know what i mean so look i don't mean to be mean but I'll, let me be the bad guy okay we're putting out a high quality product here and we expect <laughs> high quality <laughs> editing from you okay? <laughs> yeah, what yeah. Can we, what can i, I got nothing but respect for especially for what wings is going through right now yeah you guys put in work you guys put in work <laughs> oh, dude i chugged i chugged like a third of a bottle of promethazine to be on here today Lucky. yeah that sounds great can I, can I just say i like how uh the current editor is willing to be like i f***ed up we'll fix it in the future da, da 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 the last editor would be like no it's all your fault you did this you did that you did this you did that like it came to a point and look Nobody on this team, except for me, wanted to get rid of Connor. I was literally outvoted, I'm pretty sure. I, actually, I'm not sure. And if you Wings did it anyway. <laughs> and I did it anyways, yeah. because it came to a point where I couldn't work with the kid anymore. I literally couldn't. Um, so, you know, uh, this is not a universal thing. This is like a me thing. I hate that little 
I won't work with him anymore. I just so why did so why did why did you why did you um just like like why why not just fire him and say you didn't want him anymore? There's probably not much of a fight we could have put up. Instead, you came up with this phony docket thing, set him up for failure, and then no, got an I was wrong about I was actually wrong about the docket completely. So I don't know if you you are up to date with that's everything. my point. That, that's my point. Like you're wrong about that. That was going to be the thing you sell to the public, and it didn't wash. So you there fired was, him anyway. No, there was with the no. There, there was no premeditated. We're getting rid of Connor. There was no premeditated thing. Everyone keeps okay. See that this is my problem. The conspiracies. There was no premeditated. I'm getting rid of Connor. All right. Well, here's the thing about that. I had talked to the guys on Wednesday, and I said I'm a little worried that Keem's trying to make a move on Connor. And I said to both these guys, yeah, I did. said, and this is before it happened. I said to both these, would, would you guys support? Because I think he's doing a pretty good job. And no disrespect to the new editor. And by the way, you seem like a really good guy. I don't know if the new editor is going to have the references to all the old school drama we talk and be able to put him in like Connor did. Just because of lack of knowledge, nothing to do with his ability. I I, I, I wiped last week off thing. So we, 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 we asked the guy just because you didn't like him. That's not good. I want to say for record, let me clear up a bunch of stuff about Connor. All right. First of all, the failed Tuesday show a week ago. Not Connor's fault. Uh, a little bit of Wings' fault because he didn't show up, but he's sick, right? It was all on me. It was all my fault, right? But it, when I was looking at the docket, for some reason, I didn't see page two. So I didn't realize it was that little. I still think the docket was shit, But regardless, the whole reason for the show being an L was on me, not Connor. Now, when I went to go talk to Connor and have a conversation, the fuckers like being rude, not letting me speak, not even let me say my point. And I just got to a point where I'm like, I'm not working with this kid anymore. This is a passion project for me. Like I just took a cut, my first cut of this show. Like I do this for fun. I do this cause I like it and I, and I want to do something successful. I'm not going to be miserable because of an employee. I'm just not. So in that moment I was like, he's gone. And yes, I did blame him at first chat. I know I, I did on show but then i later found out it was my ups that i didn't see page two right but you know what it looks like though Kim. it looks like you fired him because you lost the debate because you lost what okay i lost the debate i still don't want to work with him <laughs> or that <laughs> see, i can't argue with you know that. what i mean it's yeah. like i still don't there's no you know i'll take all the l's big l keem i still don't want to work with him i don't like the fucker. i don't you know i let him you talk to me i used it for content whatever um you know but it just got to a point where it's like this fucker really has no respect for me whatsoever and i'm at the point now where i can't even tell him what to do without him crying and then oh but tommy's my boss and you're not my boss and like even when I, I did sign off on the docket you know and he did run a checklist through me on everything he did since march yeah and i did sign again off on my up that's a keem l and remember in the stream last tuesday i told everyone spam keem l like i f***ed up my show sucked right I, but, I will go as far let me say if i can i did talk to connor and at the end of the day i told him like i, I felt if you picked up uh if he had picked up that night and we had it out on the show then he like on the show i can call you whatever the f i want to call you i can call you a monster piece of whatever it doesn't matter it's the show that's the point of the show right it's to come here and beef it out when you take it to somebody else's channel and get you know i think that's where you fired him what, what, what was was other, I, thought he was, I don't think that was, was one of the reasons i didn't want to fire him that's one of the reasons i didn't want to fire him because i, I knew exactly where he was gonna, gonna go yeah but i didn't yeah, think but, he was okay. already fired two at that point i, I, I want to make realize. yes i want to okay. no, know i want to make two points all right after the show right remember connor didn't pick up during the show I text him and I said, Connor, you're fired. And then I made a follow-up tweet or text that said, uh, make sure you edit the new episode a, in a certain way, right? So he clearly wasn't fired. I was just like talking and he understood that, right? He even responded to me via text. I forgot what he said, but he was like, okay, I'll edit uh, that. Oh no, this is what I told him. I said, uh, use the Friday stream, not the Tuesday sh stream because the Tuesday stream was uh, sucked. And he said, okay. But I jokingly said he was fired. Then I find out that he's over on uh, uh, Bo Black's Bo stream yeah. talking all kinds of crazy shit. I go in to defend myself, right? And this is before I knew I f***ed up. I, at this point, I didn't even know the docket was two pages, right? And as I'm trying to get in the call with him and have the conversation, he kept interrupting me. And I'm just, in that moment, I was just like, no, yeah, you don't work here anymore. So I tell him, I go, you're fired. And he goes, you, no, I'm not. Like, <laughs> like that's how delusional this 
Or is. I'm telling him he's fired and he's like, no, I'm not. So it's like, I can't work with him. I can't. And Tommy, to your, your point, right? You said, I didn't want to get rid of Connor because I knew he was going to go on these other shows and talk. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't want to have an editor that's going to go on another show and talk about us. If this we, guy can talk shit tomorrow if you can. Um, what's going to stop? I wouldn't get mad at him either. Well, yeah, yeah. That, I, I have all different types of employees that when I fire them and we end the relationship, they don't go on streams and start talking right. about you, me. you have you have years of wars with people including with me of people that you broke up with and i, I happen you're to know people a content that talk creator behind your back but that, you know they talk about you behind your back you're a youtuber right. you're a youtuber i'm talking about a an editor i'm talking about an yeah. employee right if i if i fire gino who's been with me for 10 years and she can kills for me in my show if i got rid of her over oh i just didn't like this tweet you put out and it was real petty Gino would never, ever, ever go public somewhere and start bashing me. Like, most people aren't like that. They're not. I don't know, man. You told the, you told all of us to make drama, and you did the two things that you, you got on Boogie's case for. You got a yeah. Boogie case for making yeah. drama on another channel, and you deleted goddamn uh, uh, Reddit posts. You also made him to get on his hands and knees. Say, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, we, it would go a long way to see you on your hands and knees. To make an everybody happy. <laughs> I'm just saying. You did make Boogie do this for the same thing you went and did. No. Yes. I will not be getting just... I will not be getting on my hands and knees. Uh that's not happening. Uh and I will never work with Connor ever again. Like that's <laughs> literally it's just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the new editor, right? right. He's got some criticism, but he's he's new. I promise right. you, Tuba will crush yeah, for this show. Tuba, if you need any help, I'm going to send you a friend request right now or any, yeah. any kind Thank of insight. You. I'd be more and than And honestly, you seem like you've got a really good attitude. So, I, I mean, that's important. Oh, I, I love the show. I like being there. I think Connor did a good job, you know, what he did. And it's going to yeah, be, yeah. you know, he had all the references and stuff. It'll be a little le learning curve, but I'm pumped to make yeah. this stuff. Can I say yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Did Tuba, did you just say something nice about Connor? Get the out of here <laughs> yeah fired. yeah i'm gonna tell you something fired. i'm happy with connor with <laughs> is tell me. i had tell me. i set up the shorts with the like the little picture game and those never got made or like blaze started dissing desi and then like i hit you with the desi thing those were primo short ideas yeah and they never got made nope mm. yeah i mean throw them at tupa you know i mean like here's the thing i think when it comes to shorts it doesn't have to be the current show or the current drama i think we have a catalog to farm i know that when i look at people's tiktoks and i look at other podcast things i see clips from a month two months three months five months ago as long as you're not repeating content as long as you're not like using a short you've used before go back to an episode three episodes ago bring up a, a good moment bring up a good clip there's no reason not to do that we also could with the new editor i don't know what his editing ability is like he we edit. wanted he can edit. We wanted to, we wanted to do like the symmetrical edits where like you ask a question and then at the end it comes back around to the question again and that never happened with Connor. Maybe we should go down that route again. With I tell you, what we're gonna miss with Connor yeah. the most is his his he has unique knowledge. Knowledge, in the yeah. Of, I agree. Yeah. That's what we're going yeah. to miss. I, I mean, I, I feel like the the Flame and Star episode, his editing was above and beyond. Sh like wait, was, should I should I add uh should I add Tuba back in? Do do we want to give yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, more advice to him? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to cut. Start, now I'm gonna have to do Connor's job and get uh, him all the vi fucking videos because Connor found stuff that I wasn't even. Yeah, I mean, look, Tuba can research. He can do all that. Uh, before we go to Tuba, we do have a hundred dollar donation that I want to give uh, some love to. Um, saying sometimes you just can't work with someone at the end of the day, and if you have the power to make the choice whether or not you work with them or not. Uh, then it's a wraps, but Connor should have, uh, had the freedoms to say what he wanted on the show. No, I agree. He did have freedom to say whatever he wanted on the show. Um, he didn't answer he's not a ball backs. He, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't answer. No, he just, uh, robbed me of the freedom of, uh, of making a response. Every time I tried to say my piece, he kept interrupting me. So, uh, and, and right. look, guys, there's another part of this drama team that has nothing to do with you. They have to no. Did you know that Boogie was talking to Connor privately and supporting him, and then in the chat he was dumping on him? No, I told Connor exactly what I told <laughs> the chat. And then tell uh, him, yeah. I don't no, think I so. I think, exactly you, I think you just gave Connor a video. <laughs> no, I told Connor exactly what I told the chat, which was 
He said, because Con- Connor's the one who brought it up, because at the end of the day, I bet you're more worried about the paycheck. And I'm like, absolutely, and I'm going to do everything I can to defend the paycheck. I don't want the show to fall apart. I'll go to bat if for you if I can, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility. And, and when it came down to it, you folded like a 10 10- yeah, because at the uh, end of the day, I what I care about in this world more than anything, the reason I am still alive is because I like being an entertainer. I like entertaining people. I like this show. I well, you like the show. You're never going to stick up for him. You just admitted it now. No, I, if, I, I, no if, I, I, if this came to a vote, I would vote to keep Connor. Right no, now. Ask me. It shouldn't yes, be ask me right now. Show. No, to vote, and I will vote to keep Connor right now. Okay, but that's well, not an option. Doesn't matter, guys. It's not an option because here's the thing, right? You know, can people f- with wings and he lets them do it? People f- the boogie and you let them do it. Like, I don't let people f- be like that. I mean, he's f- interrupt yeah. me. Won't let me well, talk. Fight back Call like I retard. do. Fight back. Don't fire people. Like fight back. Like I do. I fight back. I don't f- try to. F- anybody I know, over. but I just. I'm not trying to. F- Connor over. If you would have came to me and said, I can't work with that guy, I, I would have fought for him. I would have fought with him for him. But eventually, I would have thrown in the f-ing towel and say, look, he can't work with you. I, what can I tell you, Connor? Yep. He doesn't like you. Well, you I mean, I mean you that's, that's that about But it. that's basically what happened. I can't, Tommy. I can't work with him. I can't. Yep. Look, me and you fought him over this. We're fine. We fought yeah, about no, it. Yeah, the- yeah, I know. And, and like, I'm, well, see, I'm giving Connor a little bit of leeway because of his age, and you're not doing and I'm I mean, older than you. He's like calling me a retard and shit. like go f- yourself. <laughs> like go go f- yourself, Connor. You could have used that for content. I, I, know, I, I know, so I know, I know. I would have milked the ever living shit out of it. I know. But then, like when I'm like you're fired, he's like, no, I'm not. I'm like at this point, you just challenged me, bro. Challenge your authority. Now, now, now yeah. you yeah. challenge. Well, at least you're honest. At least like you're honest. you know, it's like that's what it. <laughs> I'm trying to be as open and honest as possible. And again, the show. Up wasn't even Connor's fault. It was mine. It was mine. Oh. But I only found out after the fact. After he's interrupting me, calling me a retard. Da, da, da. He refused to have a f- conversation with me and refused to let me say anything. He kept interrupting. He, he, me. Also, here's another thing. I was my last thing. We'll let it go after. We were on the Lol Cow Live podcast. We 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 call each other f-ing retards. This is like when Snort Horgan came to me and and yelled at me for making fun of Apic Eric. I'm like, you run a clip channel. We're bullies. We bully people. And yeah. then Connor bullies you a little and you get canned? Snort Hogan. Well, Snort Hogan came to me. Snort Hogan no. came to me. Snort Hogan yeah, came to me. It's, it's, and he said, oh, I'm going, he's getting all tough talk with me and stuff. Because yeah, I made fun yeah, of Apic I'm Eric. Sure, I'm, I'm sure you were you terrified of his cartoon <laughs> avatar. Yeah. It, it's a different scenario. It's not a. It's not where like some someone's coming on the show as a guest, and I'm they're f- I'm fighting with them, and I'm like banning from the show. This is my employee. This is the editor of our show. It's a little different, Tommy. It's not. I, the well, same. yes, I understand that, but I mean, I, I never considered this like like all right in a business sense. In a, I didn't think this was a traditional business. This is a little cow live. We're a bunch of bullies and walkouts. I, I get it. That's I get it. I and right now, Tommy, right now, there's a lot of support for Connor for how he got fired. And I get it. Right. Mm-hmm. People yeah, are on his course. side. Yeah. But the week before that, they were begging me to fire him, like literally <laughs> begging me like it was all over the f-ing Reddit. Every stream just fire Connor, fire Connor, fire Connor. So it's like well, you're goofing on him. You're goofing on him. They're uh, gonna the, goofing on me. Yeah, yeah. Doing the same so yeah. what, what They're I'm just saying, being loud. What I'm saying is the entire chat was saying fire him. So I'm going with that context of now he's calling me retard. Like the guy literally have uh, had a f-ing ego, bro. That was getting completely out of control. Yeah. yeah was, I, I, like, like, so like, out of control. Like the whole, like your fighter. And he's like, no, I'm not like that alone, bro. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> like you said, at least you're, nope. I can't argue anymore. To be honest. I mean, you just, I, like, you can see it. I mean, 110%. Um, the reason I rolled over so quickly is because I've known Keen. Keen, we've known each other 12 years or longer. I was on the <laughs> Bad Kids podcast when you were literally like nobody, right? I know how you work. I know how you operated. We've done stuff like the, the card game. I know how it's going to play out. You're going to get your way, and that's it. And I can make as big of a stink as I want, but there's no point in it. And I've got other to worry about right now. But the truth of the matter is Connor is a talented editor. Once he got whipped into shape in January, he did a good he's job. A but the reality of it is, no, he was reliable. He's better than me. Connor reliable, is reliable, sorry. reliable, right? Other, yeah. uh, forget Connor's ups in January. He was reliable. He was on time. Things got done fastly. Good skill wise as an editor, no. But but being reliable is very important, and sometimes mm. more important with a show like this. So, uh, but, too, but, but if you let me finish, but he is also young, 
and he just earned a very important lesson. Desi's first job ever, right? She earned this very important lesson too. You got to do what the boss tells you. And if you the you, the boss speaks back, or you speak back to the boss, you're probably going to lose the job. Are you? I, the did, I, did, tell him, I did tell him that. Yeah. You know, yeah, I did tell him. And, and and on top of all that, uh, we do have the new editor here. So quick, quick uh, pointers, guys. Give it to the new editor because he's here to listen and learn. Yeah, thank you, man. I'm glad yeah, you're here. Have it. Yeah. Don't f up. Don't don't make fun number of the one. boss. Okay. So number <laughs> one, we were doing three shorts a week. I think there's room for more. And I think just like Jordy said, there is content that got left on the floor. And if you're willing to do it, I would like to see more shorts uploaded. And obviously, don't like tick the well, subscriber box. Like, don't shove it in the subscribers' faces. Boogie, before you, they've seen it. Boogie, before you yeah. push this, let me explain how the current system works. All right. So okay. on Tuesdays, we don't do a short because we're doing a live stream. And that's the only that's, notification okay, yeah. we want to uh, go out. On Wednesday, right. same thing. We have a video coming out. So no shorts on that. And then Sunday, no shorts on that. Any day that doesn't have either a video being posted or a live stream, shorts go out. I don't think we can do more than that. Well, do we have one Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Yes. Oh, you're right. Okay, you're right. Okay. Every what about two a day? What about two a day on those days? Because that's standard can you practice do that? for most platforms. Can you yeah. do two shorts a day? I mean, two if he can. Two shorts okay, a day. Okay. For, those, for those three days you're talking about? Yeah. Or just in I general? I, look, I... As an editor, dude, like there is so much stuff on the cutting room floor, and it's wasted. Yeah. You guys have a lot of golden moments that don't fit into one minute. Right, and you I don't I mean? think I think our older episodes don't get enough replay value. They're still very good. So if you do a short from a previous episode and you list the episode number in it, then I think it could get us some back back catalog views. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure that we need to do two a day, though. I would be so worried if that third notification didn't come up and it was like a live stream or something. Okay, well, what if we no, don't, don't do it on YouTube, but we do it on Reels, Insta, yeah, TikTok? Yeah, yeah. What if we do it there? Uh, that I'm fine with. That I'm fine with. Um, but, okay. All right. Well, I mean, I think that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, let's try to get uh, record to 30 frames per second uh, in the future. 30. And... Uh, Look, uh, I'm telling you guys right now, you don't know this because you just met Tuba, but Tuba has uh, skills that far exceed like what Connor's been able to do, uh, but he doesn't have the knowledge. So uh, as soon as he learns this community, learns the, the inside uh, jokes and whatnot, uh, he's going to absolutely crush and he's going to be able to make some special, special stuff. I'm going to help. I'm going to help him with that. So if we talk about it, what we got to do, but we got to write down something niche and then we got to get him the videos for it. That's going to be difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It is pointing in the right direction. All yeah, right. That, that's that's what we'll have to do with you. We so, have to, yeah. and that means we're going to have to come. A lot of the fans are mad at you. Anything you want to say to the fans? Uh, We'll do better next week. I got your back. That, bro, that's what an employee is supposed to say. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 Taking notes, Connor. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel. Thank you, Tuba. I appreciate you. Oh, my God. I feel so much better. That's, oh, my God. I yeah. thought it was. I, I thought it was going. Crazy! I thought your employees yeah, were supposed I, to call you a retard. <laughs> I hate the whole term employees. I'd tell them if I could lick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh God Almighty! All right, I have already I'm issues. Done, Peace to you, peace to you. I love you, peace, Jesus. Love that's you, peace that's you. something you th that you're missing in your life, Boogie. Church. Why don't you go to church? Um, I keep thinking about it, but you know, as fat as I am, I'm like a glutton. So like, I always feel like I'm getting super judged at church for probably. Good you probably reason. are. Yeah. <laughs> are but you yeah, religious? I'm like 10 pounds less than you. Nobody gives a f man. Like, honestly, probably the only, only people that, the only anyway. people that care that you're fat are people that don't like you to begin with. So f their ass. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to God back in 2019. And uh, him and I've been on on the page, and like in the last year, I've 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 been relearning the teachings of Christ, and I I, I think I'm, I'm probably borderline Christian. I don't act like a Christian, but I think I believe the same thing a Christian believes now. God will never forgive you for those hoes. So, yeah, probably not, not man. I think the thing God will never forgive me for is the rampant blasphemy, because I used to rail against people who like believed in God. I was like you idiots, you know. Blade, we we we. we, we, we Blade, we got a member saying, uh, ask Blade about telling his viewers to off themselves and trying to give them false strikes. Oh, Ooh, that's good. News to me. I don't know. He's, re he's referring to the guys that were with you since you're not streaming right now. There was a, a, a screenshot that came out that's saying you were like 
you know, I'm not even streaming. Why are you still with me? That kind of deal. Uh, yeah. So people are making videos about me and tagged me. So I just respond to them saying, why are you still making videos about me? I'm not even streaming anymore. Like there's literally dudes that sit around and circle jerk all day long and do podcasts about me and I'm not even streaming anymore. So it's because they have it's a way like, to make money. And like, if they don't have blade to make the money, they're not making the rent. Yep. Probably not. You're probably yep. right. uh, so ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There you have it. People. Before we go, I want to thank all the members, like always. Uh, but there's someone else I also want to thank, and that is this Reddit user right here, Dwayne the Righteous, who uh, built his own docket. Now, a lot of the stories we already had on our docket, but the fact that one of the fans took uh, time after last week's docket issue to go build his own docket for the show, uh, I just really appreciated that. That's hardcore awesome fan and i went as far as reaching out to that individual i got their twitter uh we're talking now and uh i think we're gonna bring him in he's gonna build uh dockets for next week as well um obviously we'll do our own but we'll add his with ours and and that type of thing so i really appreciate that um i hope today's show was good i mean we kind of ended on the the shoe nice uh blade thing which was kind of boring in my opinion but hey the fans wanted it and i seen some fans loving it uh saying it was good so i hope you um enjoyed all that uh but that's it that's it we are done 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 we may be uh live on friday we might be doing an extra show this week uh just so you know we might be live on friday because uh you know i just want to put something out there for last week's show being so crappy thank you guys we'll see you next week i can almost see